websites who are basically uh, saying that Lady Gaga royally ripped off some of your ideas when it comes to style and visual parts. So I, w I would be interested in hearing your opinion on that. Yes, she did. <laughs> I mean, do you know that for sure? Do you know it? Yes, I met her. Stuff? I met her actually before she was famous, and she didn't look like me back then. <laughs> And I'm just saying, I know that politically I should be all correct, but honestly, I'm so over being politically correct. Like, I just, I don't care anymore. Like, I've just gotten to a point where it's like, we're just all here for like maximum 80, 90 years, and even if you're the Beatles, like, 200 years, nobody's gonna know who you are, so there's no big things. And I just, at this point, I just want to be authentic and I want to be honest. And yes, a lot of my visual ideas have gotten ripped. I've even done experiments where I've done like, you know what, I'm gonna do my hair like neon yellow and do like a glitter heart over my eye and nobody's gonna rip that off and obviously like I see it the next day. But, obviously, you don't get to be that level of an artist. You know, the image is just one thing, you know. Like, nobody's gonna get that big just because of their image. There's gonna have to be the stars aligning and she's an incredible songwriter and an incredible businesswoman and I really do respect her as an artist. But just those, there's been times where there's been like very similar visuals. But actually like Billboard actually, I think gave you credit because uh, when Beyonce used uh, some of the same dress or something and then Billboard wrote that, you know, this actually comes from, uh, from you. No, that was actually just people love drama, you know, it's like in LA we have like the same five places where we all go to get the clothes. So it's like, I, I think, I personally thought that was really stupid because it's like, yes, there's like the same stylist, you know, it's like, I mean, I do my own styling, but like, I know this, you know, I didn't think that that was like anything to be talked about, but Apparently, that was the biggest thing I've ever done in my career, you know, because Billboard was writing about it. So it's just a part of this game. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, please. Hi. Ciao. Uh, ciao. Um, I wanted to ask, have you ever felt that you should change yourself or your style? I really like your style, but has anybody said to you, like, Maybe you should look a little bit different, or how do you do it? How do you stay true to yourself and put it in the music, put it everywhere? What is like, you know, little <coughs> You know, yes, there's been a lot of times, like when it comes to music and the visuals and whatever, where it's like, and you know, I really like when I was a young, when I was younger, I always thought that yes, I'm gonna get signed, and that there's gonna be all these people that are gonna know what's best for me. And like the more I'm in the business, the more I realize that nobody knows. Nobody has the answers. The time where like really big successes happen are just kind of like a crapshoot of everything coming together and then people win, you know? But like, to be honest, nobody knows what they're doing. So you just gotta do you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.